What's up everybody? Welcome back to another Moment episode. I'm out on the lake. It's Ryder's first outing Wave. on the boat. Wave Ryder. You waving? Hey Bubba. And we are setting jug lines. I already set out about 10. Uh, probably just watch these for a little bit, see what happens. And uh, I may have one on right over there. So. We're just gonna watch these. There's no wind today, it's pretty hot. Um, so we're just gonna hang out, try to catch some catfish, and maybe do a little fish fry tonight. So stay tuned. Guys, before we get any further, you have five days left for the pre-sale of the new Mullet Man merch. It is just released. Here's some new shirts that we have coming out, and hats as well. So y'all make sure to get over to mulletman.net, grab you some merch, support the channel, help us continue on this awesome journey that we're on and uh, thank you for everybody that has already bought merch and supported this channel. Let's get back into jug fishing. Looks like we got one on so far. We may have to move some of the other ones. Got the first little guy of the day. Perfect little uh, pole frying size. I don't know, we catch a bunch right here. I don't know what's going on, but we got one going in the ice. I think we're gonna pick them up and move spots. Try that for about an hour and then see what happens. Wave. Wave. Ready, right wave. Wave. You waving? Bounce. Bounce, bounce, bounce. Bounce. Another little uh, pole eater. Little guys today. Guys, it started raining on the way home and uh, it just didn't happen today nothing else happened but I am going to show you um, the easy way to clean a catfish hole these are the perfect size hole eating catfish I'm gonna cook one tonight and put the rest in the freezer because it's just me eating uh, we actually already ate dinner um, a while ago so Angel doesn't like whole catfish but I love them and I have only fried them and I did that one on the camp chef um, but I'm going to try to bake a whole catfish. So um, first step that you want to do is score the catfish. The cats come around whenever I clean fish. But score the catfish. That wasn't much of a score. That was more of a cut. That's what happens when you have a dull knife. But uh, these fish are cold. You always want to do this with cold fish. Take you some pliers. Um, catfish in them pliers. They make pliers especially made for skinning catfish, but you can use really any old pliers and then just start working that skin down off the fish. 
and uh, most of the times it'll come off in just a couple pieces if you can get a good grip on it it'll come off in one one big piece but gotta have some pretty good pliers to do this what are you doing kitty you coming to get some food so just get that skin these both of these pliers are not the best it worked a little better so that's pretty much it on that all the skin is off of everything that I'm gonna eat I cut right above those or you can cut right behind those this cat wants some food here's some here's some skin buddy so you just take your knife cut right through that backbone and break it cut those guts out and then you can cut right up in between those two fins and pull the rest out doesn't take much at all this fish is clean but we'll finish cleaning it up in the sink um, but that is it that is the best way to clean a whole catfish I'll do it one more time for you guys just score it you really need a sharper knife than what I'm using but uh, just make do with what you got I guess take your pliers you can try to run your run your pliers up that up that skin for the first bit so I got both sides just like that come in here cut that pop it pull back cut through and grab the rest out just like that so in just a couple minutes we got three cleaned whole catfish um, so I'm gonna take these inside clean them up and then uh, let's come up with a recipe a new baking recipe for whole catfish all right guys so this is what it looks like when you vacuum seal a couple catfish they can fit anywhere in your freezer that's gonna be a good lunch one day but we're gonna try i'm trying to talk kind of quiet because roger just went down but we are going to bake this i got the oven set to 350. whoops just put a little bit of that down and we're gonna do a lemon pepper slash critter that are red recipe i'm gonna score it actually a little bit too so i'm gonna give scoring the fish just helps cook it uh more evenly it helps more on on big fish but we're gonna take some lemon pepper seasoning kind of clunky but lemon pepper sounded really good so We'll see how this goes. Some lemon pepper. This is just an experiment. This isn't a full on cooking show right now. So we're just experimenting with baking a whole catfish. A little bit of curry butter red. And that's it. So we're gonna throw it in the oven like that. Cook it for about 15 minutes at 350. And we're gonna take it out, see what it tastes like. All right guys. I'm gonna truth on a lemon pepper catfish. It's a good shirt idea. Don't forget, pre sale is on right now. Look at that. Turn the meat yellow from the lemon pepper season. We're gonna get it while it's hot. Get it while they're getting good. Look at this, watch this. Ow! Don't burn yourself like I just did. Right off the bones, look at that. Perfect. Perfectly cooked lemon pepper catfish. One out of ten. Let's see if it's better than fried catfish. No way. Mmm. Oh 
know about lemon pepper. I thought this was going to be like the new best way to cook catfish. One more bite. Check out that. The ribs or the skeleton like that. That's just perfectly cooked. Alright. I mean, it's good. Not better than fried. Not better than smoked. Hmm. Get one more good. Get one more good little piece. I mean, you can tell because I basically just ate the whole fish that it's good. But I'm going to give it like a 6-4. I mean, eating whole catfish. I don't know what it is. It's the bones that gives it the flavor, I guess. But it is so much better than a filet. We'll go with a 6-4. Look how perfect. I mean, nothing but bones. Obviously, there's a little bit of meat there, but nothing but bones. It's good stuff right there. 6-4. Six, 6-4 four. Six, four probably means that I'm not going to do that again. I will bake it again, trying a different flavor profile, but lemon pepper is not it. So, um, yeah, 6-4. Hope you guys enjoy this video. Once again, pre-sale four more days uh, from the upload of this video. Today's, it, this video is uploading Sunday, so this coming Thursday is the last time that you can order this gear. This is the turkey, turkey fan mullet shirt. Um, but like I said, four more days, whatever that is, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, four more days, including today, five days. You have left to order this, and then everything is gone. Get over there while you have a chance and uh, help support the channel. But hope you guys enjoy this video. Super slow. Uh, we got a break in the rain for half a day and got out there and did some jug lining. But it didn't pan out like I thought it would. But that's how fishing goes. That's how hunting goes. Um, you never know what's going to happen, weather uh, permitting or not. But we had fun. Rider's first day on the water and uh, caught some fish. So hope you guys enjoyed it. Hit that subscribe button, hit the thumbs up, and remember, eat good.